We went a little longer. Uh, guys are a little excited uh, today, so we got uh, we got a little animated, I guess you would say, in our team meeting. So it was fun, fun start. Uh, excited to get going. You know, it's this is as a coach, this is what you love to do. You know, you love to be on the field with the players. There's so much that goes on in a million different uh, areas. Um, you know, this is ultimately why you coach. You get to be with the players, you get to get on the field, and more importantly, you get to, you know, build a team. And even though we we all have the same, you know, wear the same color jersey and got the paw and all that stuff, it still doesn't make you a team. You know, you have to, you have to uh, earn that and you have to develop that year in and year out. And uh, so, you know, I love this part. I love starting over. I love, uh, you know, the process that you have to go through. And, you know, obviously you, you get results each and every week and certainly at the end of the year. And then you go and you, you process that and you study that uh, to the nth degree. And that's that's certainly uh, what we've done this year, no different than any other year. And um, we did a lot of good things last year and we did some things that just, you know, really frustrating, you know, that really limited, um, you know, a couple more opportunities for us. Uh, so. You know, we spent a lot of time um, on what we call our quality control and our, our, you know, just really studying the good, the bad, the ugly of everything. And then how do we get better? You know, is it personnel? Is it scheme? Is it coaching? Um, you know, whatever, talent. Um, you know, are, are we not are we not teaching it the right way? You know, what what is it? And then and then you attack those things. And even though you, you know, you've got this information. Um, it's still a new team. You're not automatically, you don't get to carry touchdowns over right from last year. And you don't automatically, just because you were eighth in the country in defense last year, that don't mean you'd automatically get to start, okay, we were a great pass defense last year. All right, and so you can't neglect that. All right, we got to create consistency in that. But okay, as we study our defense, we were really, really good defense, defensively. But we weren't the type of scoring defense where we were like 30-second scoring defense. Now, why is that? Well, number one, our offense scored a lot of points for the other team. All right? Uh, that's a problem. Okay? Uh, you know, when, you got, when you're down 14 to nothing and you've given up negative five yards, that's a problem. That's going to affect your scoring defense, for example. Uh, but then also, okay, you're eighth in the country in defense. But then you look and you say, man, we were really bad in red zone defense. Now, first of all, they, they, not many people got to the red zone. Very few people even could get there. But when they did get there, they scored touchdowns. So why is that? How do we attack that? How do we improve from that? What do we learn from that? Uh, and, and, and then the other thing is when they did get to the red zone, it wasn't from a drive. It was from type, some type of explosive play. And then flip side, offensively, you look at it and you go, okay, man, gum. We were about as good as we've been. Some of the best teams we've had, 15th in the country in first downs. But yet you're – how come your scoring offense isn't what it needs to be? Well, you look at your red zone scoring. Well, we're 100 and – I mean, we're near the bottom. Well, why is that? Well, because we about led the nation in turnovers, in particular fumbles, right? So – and not only turnovers, where the turnovers happened. They didn't just happen, you know, backed up on the minus three-yard line – or, or, the, or the plus three yard line or whatever, all, you know, it, they happen in the red zone going in to score. And next thing you know, that impacts you. We needed five more points a game to be a top 24 scoring offense in the country. Five points. Five points. And so there's so much good. And, and when you really, really look at it from a, the lens that we look at it and the totality of it, man, we did a lot of good things. Um, but. Uh, the, the bottom line is is we, we everything for us offensively from 2023 goes back to turnovers. Everything. It's all about the ball. And uh, we did a really, really poor job of that. And uh, too many sacks, too many TFLs. Uh, those are things that we got to correct. Uh, quarterbacks got to take a next step. Both sides of the ball, we got to get better situational awareness-wise. Those are things we need to improve on. Uh, again, red zone scoring. Uh, we, we, we moved the ball 15th in the country in first downs. <laughs> but, you know, you got to finish in the red zone. And it, it was missed kicks, block kicks, turnovers, fumbles, you name it, it all across the board. And uh, that, that impacts you greatly. And uh, so it's a very small margin uh, for error, and, uh, but, but all things that we can correct uh, for sure. And then uh, another step in our passing game. And, uh, you know, from, I would say, explosive chemistry, if you will. 
uh, probably be the word I would say. Um, and some of that is just availability. Some of that is just guys taking the next step, uh, minimizing some of these these disaster things uh, that we dealt with. But all in all, you know, it's been a good process to go through it. Uh, special teams, when you look at it, uh, no big shocker. Our biggest issues were field goal, and we've tried to. Uh, you know, you had a young guy that wasn't ready, number one, and but we've also gone and recruited, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how that how that translates. But we feel like we've we've got an opportunity to get better there. And then the other thing is punt return confidence. You know, you look at Tyler Brown; he averaged almost 15 yards of return, but he lost his confidence, so we had to fire him. And uh, you know, he, he he wasn't ready for that, and you know, it was affecting him in other areas. Uh, we lost Antonio Williams; he's out. You know, we lost Cole Turner. He's another pump returner for us. He's out all year. So all of a sudden, we, we, we kind of lost some confidence in that area. Man, thankful for Hamp Green. He kind of he kind of bailed us out and saved us, you know, down the stretch and just possessing the ball because um, we ended up muffing two kicks, you know, and two turnovers. And those are critical. I mean, that's field position. That's, that affects your scoring. All those things. Um, so, you know, a lot of area for improvement. The other thing, special teams was penalties, too many penalties that we had. And then, uh, you know, as you saw in the game, in the bowl game, we were really fortunate to win that game. You, you, we studied it. If, if, you, if you give up a, a special teams touchdown, you, you, you got like a 31% chance to win. So <laughs> we open up the second half. We got two quarters to play. So it probably, it probably that 31%, that's probably based on a, a game, right? So I'd say we probably had about a, you know, whatever, 15% chance to win at that point. But we won. It's hard to overcome those things. And the biggest thing there, when you look at the kickoff coverage stuff, is we led the nation in kickoff co in kickoff uh, touchbacks. I mean, we were elite, 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 elite. And, and that's a double-edged sword. Sometimes guys, all of a sudden, they, you know, they just take it for granted, right? You know, uh, crying wolf, all right? And then all of a sudden, the wolf shows up, and you ain't ready. And uh, you know, that's kind of. Uh, the case in that last game. So you got to just creating that mindset and that mentality that e you got you to cover every kick like it's coming out with the right technique, you know, the right speed zone, bully zone, hat and hand, everything, uh, and how you leverage the football. So a um, lot of stuff that, that we went through that, that I feel really good about uh, as a staff and as a team as we go attack 2024. And, um, you know, I love how the guys have worked. They've, they've, been, they've been a very focused group. Um, you know, leadership has been good. Guys have, have been very attentive in our meetings and what we've been trying to do, uh, mat drills, et cetera. Uh, so just ready to get out on the field and, and get started. Uh, from an injury standpoint, um, you know, long-term guys that, that you guys know that, that are, are doing well and, and working their way back. You know, Sherrod Koval is a, is a scholarship player that, as you all know, tore his uh, ACL back in November. He's doing great. Uh, he's doing really, really well. He's, I would say, ahead of schedule is what they tell me. So, you know, he'll be he'll be ready to go by the time you know we get to the season. Uh, Jalen Lucas uh, had the right hip surgery in December. Uh, he's doing well, but he'll be he'll be out in the spring. Um, uh, Walker Parks, another guy that that y'all all know, a starter. Uh, he's he's doing really well. Our hope for him is to hopefully get some type of individual <clears throat> start. You know, maybe it might be the latter part of spring or whatever, but to really get him into some maybe some indie type of stuff and, and get him back just moving around from that standpoint. But he's tracking in a good good spot. And then uh, Watson Young, another young scholarship player um, that uh, had had torn his ACL. And uh, so he he's he uh, hopefully will be ready to go once we get back, we get to the season. Um, uh, long, other long term, Armand Mason. Uh, he's he's got a stress fracture, so he he'll be out for spring. Uh, he's a guy that again I hate it for him. Super excited about um, his opportunity, and you know uh, got hurt in camp last year, um, and I really hate that for him. Has battled back from that, and now he's got a little bit of a stress fracture, so uh, he'll be out this spring. But but uh, you know should be ready to go by the time we get to the season. Uh, Tyler Brown, you know, had, had the foot surgery. He's doing great. Uh, not ready to go full go yet, but but tracking in a good direction, and we do anticipate him getting some type of work uh, at some point this spring. Same thing with Corey and Gibson. He's the high school mid-year kid that, that uh, tore his ACL at the beginning of the season last year in, out in Texas. Uh, he's doing well. We anticipate him getting some 
just some position type stuff and, and you know, just trending in a good direction. No live work this spring. Jay Haynes, uh, he's coming back from a hamstring, not anything long term, but but he's he'll he should, he'll be back at some point. Uh, Noble Johnson's going to be out. Obviously, y'all know about his situation. Uh, he'll be out for the spring. Uh, Ronan O'Connell is another young man that had some had a little bit of surgery coming out of high school, so he'll be limited uh, as we go through spring ball. We do hope second half of spring that he can get a little bit of work as well. Um, and uh, Brandon Strozier is another guy who had uh, surgery that's back in November that's, you know, trending in the right direction too. So those guys should all get back at some point. Uh, Vic Burley, uh, Ronan Hannafin, you know, a couple of those guys are, are working their way back in as well. Some guys that had some, some uh, you know, surgery at some point either during the season or postseason. But other than that, we'll have uh, most everybody out there and, and uh, ready to go. And, and then obviously we had a couple of um, uh, issues within the team, you know, with Kate Hart and, and Noble, two incredibly disappointing uh, situations. But, um, you know, two good kids, two, two learning opportunities uh, from both of them. Those things, um, how those things are all handled all, is all driven through the processes and procedures that are in place from a university standpoint. To kind of you really kind of remove yourself from that stuff, uh, honestly, uh, just like you do from a guy getting hurt. You, you just move, remove yourself and let doctors and trainers manage that. And it's no different when you have a situation like uh, we had. But, um, you know, Kate made a mistake, and he's a great kid, and he'll learn from that. We'll handle it within the team. Same thing with Noble. Um, and uh, both of them, you know, Noble especially, very fortunate um, that, uh, you know,